Hey guys, how's it going uh, today? I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth view of the rechecks. I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments about them. I've been gonna take the wing off and show you guys some in-depth pictures and the clips of how I actually built the rechecks so you guys can build your own at home. So the first step uh, I did to build the retracts was go online and start pulling the pictures of DC-3s and uh, do some uh, research on the actual landing gear. I wanted to have the landing gear retract uh, just the same as uh, real landing gear do. The DC-3 has a really uh, unique way of the gear retracting so I really wanted it to be uh, just like the DC-3. So here's my version of it here, uh, it's before I've got the thing covered. Uh, so the first thing I did was I took the landing gear that the kit came with and brought it down to a hardware store and uh, just uh, found some wire and used the same gauge of wire that the kit came with. That way uh, it would stay lightweight and I know that uh, that gear was strong enough to hold up the original plane so I just wanted to go with the same gauge of wire. Once I got the wire that I knew I was going to use, I went ahead and just made a prototype out of paper clips. So you can see there on the right side there, there's uh, some paper clips laying there on the table. That's what I used to actually make the my prototype. I just wanted to just size it up and just kind of see the movements uh, and figure out how it was going to work. Uh, once I made that and figured out what size to actually make it uh, based off of the tire and off the full size blueprints, just laying it over top of the blueprints and just figuring out you know, how it was going to work and what size it was. Uh, then I went ahead and just started uh, cutting and bending uh, the wire that I got from the hardware store uh, that was the same gauge uh, as the kit came with, like I said. So here I am just making sure that uh, making sure that both the left and the right side are the same size and I'm bending a, a U-shape there. That's going to be the bottom portion of the, uh, of the gear and then those uh, two pieces with the little hooks on the end, those are the top portion. Uh, that was probably the hardest part uh, of building the retracts was that, that little bend in the wire because it's actually pretty pretty strong wire. Uh, so it takes quite a bit of force to kind of get a nice bend and you want to make it nice and uniform so it uh, so it works correctly. Uh, I just used a Dremel tool with a cutting blade on the end of it to do all the cutting of the wire. Uh, and then a couple pair of vice grips uh, worked pretty nicely to, to get the bend. Uh, when I was building them, I, I kept them all about a quarter inch long for the um, both the top and the bottom pieces. That way once I got it in place, I could cut it to size once I had those hooks laid out. You can see that one on the right there, that's as long as it's going to be, so now I can lay it up against the uh, other retract, the, or not the re retract, but the actual um, the actual gear that the kit came with so I can make it the same length. Because I want the DC-3 to sit just like the same height and everything that the kit uh, was going to uh, have it uh, be set. I just wanted to have retracts. So there I'm laying it on the full size blueprints to figure out where exactly the pivot point will be. Uh, and so I'm just kind of mocking up there just to see uh, where it's going to be at. And then I figured out where it's going to be so now I just started marking the ribs. Uh, and then I'm going to mark it and then I'll use a uh, just a drill bit, just balsa wood so it's easy enough just to use the, a bit and just uh, use your fingers to, to drill that hole. So there I'm starting to drill the hole. And then just continue marking all the ribs in the same spot. Once I got that, uh, I'm going to use a long piece of wire and stick it through the entire uh, main part of the wing. And it's going to connect so that way the both gear will be able to connect on the same uh, piece of metal. And this is essentially just you know an axle, basically it's just going to pivot around so that way I can hook a servo uh, to that wire and then that once that wire rotates it will pull the gear up. And then I'm laying that out to see how it'll sit. Uh, once I have 
that in there, I start using these pieces of balsa. I just use some uh, like half inch by quarter inch balsa pieces there and reinforce the ribs where that uh, wire is going through so that way it's a little stronger. Uh, after flying it and having some experience out in the field, I definitely recommend to upgrade that a little bit more and to use um, use like some plywood, like some eighth inch uh, plywood will actually be, you, know, you can just get it like a hobby store uh, and that'll make it a little stronger. I was trying to conserve weight but after flying it, uh, it definitely flew just fine with the 450 size motors and everything. I had plenty of power, so I uh, now knowing how it flies the way it does it, you know, it, I didn't need to worry about weight as much as I did. So once I got those pieces in there, I. Uh, glued them in there, reinforced that, and now I'm starting to solder on uh, those parts uh, to that axle. Now this part was a really critical part. Uh, so this is a piece of uh, copper tubing, and I had to find a piece of uh, another rod that was the right uh, diameter that would you work as an axle that would fit through the tire. So I brought the, the wheel to the hardware store and to get a piece of wire that would go through there. Once I found the wire that would go through the tire, I had to find a piece of tubing that I could stick that wire in there that would work as an axle that would pivot. Uh, and then I just soldered it together and then it would go around the wheel like that and then the axle goes through there and it, well, that way it moves. Uh, now the next part uh, is to make the back arm. This is a critical part in making the entire retrax work uh, how they should, how they do uh, scale. Uh, this is what really locks the gear into place and makes it, you know, a sturdy, uh, you know, mechanism that that way it can't go backwards. It can only, you know, retract up and it holds the wheel. This part was the, definitely the hardest part to solder. And what I'm soldering there is that metal wire to the axle. And you need to make sure that you don't get any uh, solder on the copper tubing because the tubing has to be able to pivot by itself. So if you get too much solder on there, it will make that joint lock up and it won't pivot like it should. So that's definitely the trickiest part to solder. Now this part, also something that I'd recommend upgrading from what I did is I used a piece of uh, quarter inch square uh, balsa wood to secure the back part of the arm into the, uh, see there on the on that top part, I used a piece of uh, balsa wood to secure that back portion and uh, definitely that was not strong enough and it broke I think on my second flight. So I had to cut the top of the wing open and reforce that. So right there where I'm uh, Putting that collar on there, that piece that's a balsa wood, that definitely should be stronger. It should be larger and stronger so that way it, it'll take the force a little better. Uh, these collars actually came with the, with the kit, so I didn't actually have to go out and find those because I used the same gauge of wire that the kit came with. Now the gear is pretty much uh, all done. It's all uh, in there and it folds up how it should and it fits how I want to. Uh, now I have to build the nacelle uh, over top of the retracts. In the kit, on the plans, it tells you to build the nacelles uh, and then put the, put the gear in place. But I have to kind of do it backwards because of um, having to redesign the nacelles to fit over top of the gear now. Uh, so in there, I'm just cutting out a portion that I need to to fit around that gear. 
and I also cut the front portion of the wing out and see the uh, the leading edge uh, of the wing. I actually had to cut that uh, pretty good sized notch out of there uh, for the gear to fold up in. the actual uh, part portion of the nacelle. You can see I'm uh, starting to glue that in place and uh, with that the way it is it, you know the gear won't be able to retract uh, but I'm just gluing it how the plans call for and then once I get them glued and squared and in place then I can go ahead and cut the portion out that I need to for the gear to be able to retract still. Uh, marking a nice line there that I can cut along to uh, cut that portion of the cell out uh, so that the gear can retract. portion of it done, uh, I'm going to start ahead and uh, build the uh, front portion of the nacelle. Uh, this is the part that the motor mount uh, connects to. Uh, because I ended up adding a little bit larger size wheel in there, I ended up going with a two and three quarter inch uh, rubber wheel rather than the two and a half inch that the plans call for. I did have to move that front portion of the nacelle out about a quarter of an inch in order to uh, make spacing for that wheel. Uh, it didn't really change any aerodynamics at all, uh, as far as I know, I mean it flew just fine the way I built it. And then I'm just uh, adding all the stringers in place. So that's pretty much all there is to uh, building these custom retracts. Uh, thank you guys for watching. 
and just from here all you got to do is uh, add a servo so I went ahead and added a full-size uh, high-tech servo I just mounted it uh, right in the middle of the wing uh, and then just added a solder uh, piece of copper to that actual axle that you put through the wing uh, and then just use a simple lever it went on the, it went through the top of the wing so that way uh, you can't see it from underneath the airplane or anything it's actually sitting inside the center of the fuselage um, so it fits up in the nice nice there in the fuselage and uh, works out pretty good all the gear uh, works nicely it's strong uh, it's broken a couple times but I just found a couple weak points and, uh, and fixed it